I took the model off the, the block for the back and added a piece of plywood so I could tip it upside down, which makes it just a little bit. A little bit easier to shape up the bottom of the bulk upside down. Now we're about ready for sanding. told you once that this is a nice little block with a quarter inch felt pad but you can't use stick it paper on this so it'll pull the felt off so just use regular paper and fold it over but now we're gonna sand this and I usually now I sand with a festool because it's way faster but I know most people don't have a festool they're not cheap they do work real good. I usually use 80 grit. This is stick it paper on a little block of wood. And uh, you just have to keep at it. it takes quite a while to smooth it up. You can use a little palm sander. That would work good if it makes a lot more dust. But most people have a palm sander. It takes a quarter sheet of paper. If you use a palm sander, though, on the fair wood, make sure that you sand out all of the marks that the palm sander leaves in the wood. Well, if you're going to paint it, it doesn't matter if you're going to varnish it. You always want to end up sanding it by hand on a nice, either by hand or with a little block. I don't use the felt block to begin with. I gotta move. You know, I want to take out pumps and holes with a, a stiff block. Uh, I'm going to hook up the fest tool and show people how that works. And when are you going to um, shape your bow? I, I don't remember what you said. In a few minutes. In a few minutes, okay. This is a great machine.
roll a sandal. You just build the same thing by hand. Do it at an angle. Yeah. And if, with a Festool, a lot of times with variable speed, you want to have the speed turned down. Right, when you're on a edge like that. Now I have to change to the other block to do the top size. But someone was asking about the line, so I will re-put the template on. And I just take a block of wood and some coarse paper or sometimes a little oops, spoke shave. And I just keep doing it until it's the right size. And this will be a little fatter right here than I make up my stem. The bow stem. The bow stem to fit on there, and then I have to reshape it. But if you're just making a huddle the traditional way, the hull the traditional way, this would be all you would do. So you would bring this down nice and clean. And this is how my ancestors did it. They didn't put on the keel, the rudder, or any moldings or tow rails center boards that was just like this and there's probably 50 of them hanging at the boat yard and this is all they did and they weren't very fussy with the finish there are some up at the Osterville Historical Society right yep. if people wanted to see them I put on the trim center boards and keels and rudders and moldings just for looks. But it's not traditional at a Crosby yard. Switching the wood on the back of the hull like that is really important when uh, you're painting and varnishing too. Now this piece of plywood, it depends how you turn it to sand the bottom, and then you turn it just the opposite to put the tow rail and, and do the deck work. And if you can, if you get the block and the piece of plywood, maybe if you put the screw holes together, then there's less screw holes in the back of the model. I don't always do it. Once you have your pencil line on the back the way you want, just, you just do it with some 
you know, 80 grit or 60, whatever you have, and take it right down. sand with 80 grit to start then I go to 120 grit then 180 grit and then like maybe 280 for the finish you're gonna vanish the hull be very careful when you're painting it you can hide some of the imperfections there. Put some new screws in that block. You can see too how much the festival keeps the dust down. be 120, 180, and roughly 280. Some people do it a little bit less, but that's what I normally uh, do it with. And before you put the first coat of stain on, a seal it for painting. I always skim over it again to just to clean it up with some fine paper. Okay. All right, so what will the next video be doing the bow stand? I'm going to put the template back on the bottom to make sure I get the bow line just where I want it, and I'm going to take it down to shape. Okay. So we'll and then maybe we'll, that. Then we'll fit the bow piece, the bow stem, and put the keel on. Okay. Maybe a centerboard and a rudder, and then we'll move it. And Put a tow rail on it. Okay, great. Thanks. Cool.